One, two, three, fuck it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. Um, I got my wisdom teeth out yesterday and I can't, it kind of hurts to talk, but I need to get this video up for Sunday. So here we are. So um, this video is going to be the best volleyball shoes to wear because I am not exactly a fan of some shoes, but I'm a huge fan of some. So I'm just going to show y'all the ones that I really like. So first of all, um, I don't even have the ones that I don't like to show you because I got rid of them, but I do not like the stereotypical like actual volleyball shoe like say like buy like Mizuno or like some vo volleyball shoes by Nike I hate those like I hate them so much they hate or they hurt my feet so bad and like the grip's not good really and like they wear out really fast so I made the switch to basketball shoes now basketball shoes they look they honestly just look better and they have much better traction and they I don't know they just look cool and they they give you some height I like them so first pair I'm going to show you is I don't even know the name of these they're Jordans um, I don't know, yeah, I don't know the name of these, but they're like low top, and they have like Velcro on the top, and then they still have laces and stuff, and these are really cool because they're low top, they're not heavy, that's like one thing that basketball shoes can be, is heavy, so you want to go for a pair if you're playing volleyball in them, that's not heavy, not clunky, it won't weigh you down, because you need to be like fast, moving side to side and stuff, so I really like these Jordans, they're low top, very lightweight, the bottom is so cute kind of dirty but they're blue and these are like my favorite shoes to like kind of practice in or like mess around in because they're just really light and easy um second pair Ooh, this needs... second pair is um these black all black kds kds are really nice to play in sometimes they get these kind of hurt my feet just a little bit because it's not very cushioned on the bottom because they're not really made for a lot of jumping like a volleyball player would. But like if you're a setter or a DS, I think these would be perfect for you. You know, they don't, yeah, I'm a hitter so they don't really agree with me that much. But they're really stylish so I wore them anyways. I really like these because they have great traction and great grip on the floor. And I like the cut of them like right here. You can, you can kind of see how big that opening is. You can kind of... Um, well, it's really good for um, wearing extra layers around your ankles, so like if you wear ankle braces or really thick socks, you'll be good in some KDs. So, yes, these are my second favorites. Oops. Alright, now for my first favorites. This is the shoe that I played in all last season. These are the LeBron 16s, I think. I don't actually, I don't even know. I don't know what these are. They're just LeBrons, and these are so comfortable I really love like the fly knit kind of like this material is kind of fly knit so it's really flexible and also you have a big opening for your foot and you can also easily wear ankle braces in this shoe and thick socks and they're just really stylish the back of them is really cool and obviously they have a really thick like sole so they give you a lot of height so I really like these and they're great on the inside they're very cushioned so it's great for jumping very comfortable and I really like these I accidentally got a, I got like a size half too big or a, sorry a half size too big because I wanted to make sure that my ankle braces and my thick socks fit fit, fit into the, these shoes so but these are my babies these are my favorite love these and they're and these look kind of clunky but they're so lightweight and they're super like flexible or not really they're not flexible, but like, I mean, do you need your shoes to be that flexible? No. So I really like these, and these are my babies. Oh, and also, the bottoms are really cool. Like, they're kind of, I don't know, it's clear, and like, kind of has like the Air Max sole. They're so dope. I love them. And these also come in a bunch of different colors and styles, so I highly suggest these. These are my numero, numero, numero uno shoes. Okay, hi. So I found one pair that I didn't get rid of that I don't really like in particular. It's like these really beat up like Mizuno ones. Now these are like your stereotypical volleyball shoes. I obviously you can see how worn they are, and I only wore these for maybe two or three seasons, but still, like they shouldn't be this beat up. And I didn't even wear these for school. So the reason why I don't like these is because they kind of wear really easily around here, on the sides, and on the front right there. And then also my main gripe is that 
I would twist my ankle so much in these shoes because like how low they are. Like they're basically tennis shoes. So I hated them. So I cause I would twist my ankle all the time and like even if I was wearing ankle braces, I was like whoop, I was like, ah because I don't like wearing those really stiff like active ankles that like literally like are plastic. I don't like those. And then they get really worn, you can't see it, but they get really worn on the inside as well. And the cushion gets like thinner and thinner as more like the more you wear them so they weren't exactly my favorite and I hated them so I just swapped out all volleyball shoes for basketball shoes best um, decision I ever made so personally but it's also up to preference if you like Mizuno if you like steer it like if you like the typical volleyball shoe go with that go with what makes you comfortable my comfort or my comfort zone is basketball shoes well I'm also a basketball player so or I was so like that makes sense why I like those more but and I'm more comfortable in basketball shoes just because they give me more stability. Um, they're nicer looking and they're just more comfortable. But Mizuno's, I mean, th these are also good for, like, you know, you can be really quick in these, agile, but they do wear down a lot, in my opinion. And you don't get as much ankle support as you should. So, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I'm sorry it's so short, but I really cannot be talking that much. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. Also, subscribe to my vlog channel. The link will be in my description, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Goodbye.